out of my house this way. <laughs> Not in. <laughs> All right, stop. Oh, thanks. Okay, cool. Great. Sorry, mum. <laughs> I don't want to talk. Breaking Beige is the journey of three 30-something mums trying to figure out who the hell they are post-babies. We can't be the only ones who feel like this. Who the fuck are we now? Just a mum is wearing thin. We want more. Finding our strengths, ditching the act of wearing and washing our hair. This is the journey of how we will gain our self-worth back and inspire you to do the same. Break the beige. Be a hot bitch. I don't want to talk. We're going. Woo-woo. Thanks, Sam. Morning, girls. Mm-hmm. Episode Morning. three. Yay. I'm oh, starting. I'm starting this. Confidence. Are we in it? We will. Yep. We go. Take it, Renee. All right. I'm starting off today's podcast by gifting. Sorry. Oh, and the mic. All right. I've got my little bag here. So what I wanted to do today, purely this is a surprise. By the way, yeah. we don't know what she's doing. So, so this is research for me, right? Okay. So I have two products. Oh, one, two. Ooh. Sam's and like, oh, I'm going to steal that. Sam. Hey, can you get this? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Things, are always you. Things are always better. Things are always better. It's so bad. <laughs> you can use GG's. It's like stealing <clears throat> food from someone's plate. It always tastes better when you take it from them. <laughs> so I don't want to talk about ingredients. I've got two serums here. Same ones, be hydrated. We've got hyaluronic acid and we have vitamin B. So this goes on straight after you cleanse underneath your moisturiser. Morning and night. Morning and night. I want you to use it. I want to know how it feels and what you think about it. (gasps) Thank you. Then we have lip perfection. This is a plumper. Okay, we were just talking about how our lips look like cat's asshole. (laughs) So I'm so excited for that. (laughs) Do you do it? Have you seen that? Like when you go... And now, now it looks like an actual cat's asshole. Sorry, no. mum. Pucker up, pucker up. So you've got like peppermint in there, so it gives you a little bit of a zing. Oh, so it vibes. does actually help with the lines around it. So you like pump it out, put it around. Thank you. Put it on as many times a day as you like. Oh, I look like forward now. to it. How do we? <laughs> Sam. Sam likes some juicy big lips, Gina. <laughs> Roger that. Thank you, because I've been Thank hearing you. about a, a lip flip that you can do with Botox, and I was like, oh, lip flip. Try that before you do Botox. Thank you. Give it a jam. So Thanks, Mummy. You're yeah. welcome. Thank you. Cutie. <laughs> Sweet cheeks. So Aww. how long do we use it before before we talk about Oh, products? like uh, w- within a day. Like you'll love it. Like within by next week you'll be like, oh, I feel like my skin. Especially if you've not been using a serum, you will love it. Give yeah. it a go. Like really, <laughs> like, like, really we're pumping working on, on this. Thing. <laughs> Come on. This has to work. Oh, Where are you? All right, Thank so you. then we will Ooh. go on to ins and outs. Yay. Thank Who you. wants to start? Oh, why? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this. So the technical difficulties, guys. Did <laughs> you guys <laughs> notice that we had fancy podcast mics now? We're so cool. <laughs> um, I actually have no ins and outs. I've got one, which is like 100% in and 100% out. And if you know, you know. And it's fucking Lego. <laughs> oh, Lego yes. is 100% in for me because it's like so enjoyable. The kids love it and it's 100% fucking out for me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because it's like always Lego that you stand on in the middle of the night, you vacuum it up. Yeah. The kids Great. are like come out at like half past eight when they should have been asleep for an hour and they're like, have you seen that little flame that goes on the end of and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no. And I vacuumed it up last week and I'm not going to tell you. So Lego is 100% in and 100% out. I and love I like that one. That's me. Yeah. I've been pulling the jupe. Well, we have jupe low because oh, Colin's a bit younger. Little. But yeah. yeah, we've been using a lot of that lately. It's a great way to entertain. But yeah, the cleanup is just oh, vile. Admin. Yeah. Yeah. Gina. Oh, no, Renee. <laughs> no, we're going in order. <laughs> All right, fine. Only because you gave us some nice products. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So you told Thanks, cool, vibes. like, little surprise and delight. Thank you. You're, You're so welcome. thoughtful. It's all about filling cups, yeah. Renee. Fill the cups. Try. Um, fill my cup. I did. Yes, she did fill Sam's coffee cup. Um, right. I think he said pull what's, my cup. What's in, <laughs> what's in and what's out? I'm pretty sure that's out. not what was said. Um, my out this week is 
like hormones. Um, yes. this, Same relate. I don't know if, yeah, I know we were talking about it before and like we're relating about it too, but I don't know if other people feel like this, but like that seven to 10 days, like before my period, I just get gradually angrier and like more bitter and resentful about anything and like things that would normally be water off a duck's back for me I could get really wound up about things um so that's definitely out for me as soon as my period arrives I'm like yeah I'm back so um, <laughs> yeah. what's wrong yeah, what are you yeah, actually about yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah. and like Sam can sometimes say to me oh my god like what is your problem and I'm like we're in the zone we're in that zone we'll come out of the zone I'll come back to you we'll be okay um, so hormones are a bit out for me. Um, interested to hear if other people feel that way as well. Yeah, you guys uh, yeah. are quite like period planners, eh? Like you know when your period's coming. Just kind started of to be like that. Yeah. yeah, we've nearly synced up. So, but I don't know. Like I'll be in white pants at a cross country. <laughs> and be like, <laughs> here we go. As long as other mums have your back, and they're like, "Hey, here's a little sweater," yeah. and you're like, "What Tied more?" Around your waist, <laughs> and they're like, "Just take it." Like, Trust me. Surely, sauce. No. <laughs> I'm a sausage mom, like I'm a tomato a sausage mom. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that's out for me, but I'm feeling much better now. So right. I think what's in for me is, um, yeah, I was feeling this way yesterday, um, and I, I went and had a hair appointment, and I walked in, and like three of the girls there were sitting there drinking tea, eating coffee, like eating chocolate, and I was like. They were like, how are you? And I was like, oh, yes. Like, that's <laughs> yeah. exactly what I Feel needed. Good. And so, my people. yeah, my in is just, and like you guys as well, just, just being around people who, yeah, just keep pumping us up. And I think same with the feedback. It's just been really cool. It's nice to know that we've got heaps of support. And my village has been supporting me a lot this week with um, school pickups with kids and looking at like childcare while we work or whatever we need to do. So, yeah, having, having a good village. It takes um, a village. It really is does. a big end. But I'm going to, yeah. yeah, hand it over to you now, Renee. Cool. I'm so All right. excited. I had a couple. So but- Renee turned up to my house this morning and she was like, we literally can't talk because I want everything to be a surprise. We've sat in silence for like we an did. hour. I was like, I can't say anything because I want you to be surprised. <laughs> I was like, good, I don't want to talk. I'm in a foul mood. I don't want to talk. <laughs> that is literally our theme song. Um, my out uh, happened this morning. It happens so much. If you have no caller ID on your phone, I am not answering it. Valid. Like, yeah. why, if, if I don't know who's calling me, so no caller ID, I'm not going to answer it. If you don't want to know me to know who you are, I don't want to talk to you. Valid. Yeah. It's generally people trying to sell you something, the bank, which I also don't want to talk <laughs> oh to. Oh, God, my payment. Especially not at the moment. Um, so don't put no caller ID on your phone. Full out for that. Valid. Even if I don't have a number saved, sometimes I'm like, don't know I'll leave it, it and then I'll like Google it. <laughs> I'll be, figure out if I didn't Mine's like, want always it. like so some bad. random supplier of like a copper door. Yeah. Ooh. That's yeah. for a client. And I I'm might like, want one of those oh. one day. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's definitely the out. And the, I had an out like yours today too. Like I'm full PMSing at the moment. And last night I was like... <gasps> Where's the ice cream? Where's the chocolate? I need to eat everything in the cupboard. And I know, (laughs) but I don't feel like that this morning. Um, And feeling like that and the kind of the mood and everything that goes with it. Fully out with that. In is um, Kate is my in today and was yesterday. This is why she didn't want to talk to me. (laughs) Because I was... Bigger all yesterday. I was so foul and I hadn't even seen Kate yet. And she knew it just with the message I sent her. And she was like, let's go do crystal cylinder and coffee. And I was like, I really need that today. (laughs) And she spent all day with me. That's probably why she's in a foul mood today. She gave me (laughs) all of her energy on one day. And I'm very grateful for that. Honey, you needed that. I really did. Don't cry. I know. (laughs) She literally cried on the way home from town. I dropped her off and I was like, I love you. Thank you so much for filling my cup. And now you have this beautiful outfit as a result, right, of that (laughs) day. Shopping. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do have another in. Um, is my mum. Okay. I know. So um, mum, well actually dad makes the comment. So we have a family of five, five sisters. It's very busy. I often talk about my family and how all connected we are. And dad lately has been making the comment of, 
we don't really see you that much anymore, Renee. And I get it. I'm busy. Oh. All my kids are at school. I used to go there heaps with preschoolers. You'd rock yeah, around in that. Cricket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now I've got the salon, and the kids are busy doing things. And so then I mentioned to them, you guys are also really busy. I'll turn up to your house in the morning and you're not home. And I can't even get into the house because it's locked. And then they were like, oh, yeah, we get that. We're busy. This <laughs> morning, my mum texted me and said, just so you know, I'm home this morning oh. if you want to come over for a cup of tea. And I was like, oh, Aww. I can't because I'm at Kate's, but thank you so much for texting Aww. me. That's cute. Um, so that is my in. Resolution. My mum. That's cool. Love, it was really cool. She was like, Dad's fishing and I'm home for the morning. Do you want to come around? Cute. I know. So that Mom's was my in. Word. Mum like is the it. word. Perfect. Okay. So what are we doing next? Feedback. Yeah, we honestly, you guys are so cool, listeners. Yes. Because we are filming like randomly throughout the week and we always seem to get some epic messages on the morning that we're filming and we really need it, you mm. know. We get them mm. all the time but we got, um, actually yesterday we got this one when we were in town and we were having a real yuck lunch. Yeah, it was yuck, eh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was a real overpriced I'm so disappointed lunch. in this. I wanted this food to be really yum. <laughs> I won't, we won't ask. No, no we don't, don't ask. It was obviously not at Crystal Cylinder. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, no, okay, it's so not. the coffee was clear. great. No. Yeah, it is. It's always good. But I had this really bad pumpkin soup. Oh, yuck. That was so gross. How hard is it to get pumpkin soup right? I know. What? That's what I Safe. thought. Yeah. And I, but I choke at the checkout anyway. Like Renee was like waiting for me to order and I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to choose. And then she was like, I'll have the chicken salad. And then just walked off and I was like, oh, God. And then she goes, just get the pumpkin soup. Oh, and I, was like, <laughs> I said, the pumpkin soup is on the special board. And Kate was like, pumpkin soup. <laughs> you never get the specials, cool. by the way. Never order the special because yeah, so. they're trying to get rid of it. Yeah. Hot wow. tip. Wow. Yeah. Valid. Didn't never get the special. <laughs> I feel like there actually wasn't pumpkin in it. But anyway. Um, so this lady sent us this message when we were having a yuck lunch. And um, her name's Victoria. She said, loving the second podcast, ladies. Just thought you would appreciate this little piece from my strong world wild daughter. Do I name her? Yeah. Tiva. In the kitchen last week, I was cooking and she was just question after question after oh, question. God, get right. And don't get me wrong. Good questions like how does electricity work? And I said, Oh, Tiva, you are a lot sometimes. And she replied super fast with <laughs> well, Mum, it's better to be a lot than not enough. <laughs> yes. I love so, that. Yeah. She said, so, yeah, that's my takeaway. Let's think like my nine-year-old. Let's all be a lot. And I was <laughs> just like, <laughs> that's what we're all about. Yes, Tiva. <laughs> I'm a lot. <laughs> Let's celebrate here. She is so clever for a nine-year-old. I was just like, how cool are you? Um, we got another one this morning from Paula. Shout out Paula, who's in Canada. Yay, Yay Canada. International. So cute. <laughs> she said, hey, big ups on the podcast. I live in Canada, and this gave me a good old dose of Kiwi realness, which I didn't even know I was missing. Keep it up. We were like, oh, oh that's really nice. cool. <laughs> Miss ya. <laughs> And then we got this other one this morning. I'm not sure if I can actually read it because it's going to make me cry. But um, And we all actually got really teary when I read this out. So this is from Catherine and she's in Hara. My self-care tonight was listening to episode two of your podcast, although counterproductive because it's now after midnight and I still haven't slept and I have a two-year-old and a seven-month-old. <laughs> oh, no. We feel you, oh, honey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm based in Hara of all places, so not too far away. I just wanted to say that I have... Never, capital letters, related to anything more than your latest episode. There were so many moments when I laughed out loud and I was like, ha, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly I how know. we are. Which is so cool. I love that. She said, I think you are doing such a brave thing that will help so many people. Aww, that's that's special. We love that's cool. Cool. Yeah. That yeah. is really, really nice feedback. And we feel that. Oh, like it's just so good to it. hear and that's what this is about. Yeah. Yeah, even my dad messaged me the other day. Now he is not our target audience. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> but he was just Great like, this though. is why 
like women back in the day got so depressed because they just weren't allowed to talk about anything like this. So it's cool that we can, we're just like YOLO. This is what we talk about. Totally. You know, let's totally. get over it. And it is helping us to get over things. Yeah. Do you case, we just offload our trauma psycho. to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're like, oh, I feel so much better. And the listeners Thanks are like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, I really like, do you have that one more that came from a dad? Oh, yes. So, so I'll just do that one was, more. I'd love it. So this actually wasn't <clears throat> a, um, this was a conversation that I had with a dad at school pickup. And this was Paul Williams, who's like an international rugby referee. I don't know if you know about Paul Williams. He's super he's famous. really cool. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a really nice guy and he's a good friend of ours. And he was like, he said to me, it's actually going to make me a better husband listening to your podcast. And I was like, oh. That's really cool. And he said, um, I listen to you girls talking and I'm like, that's how my wife feels or that is possibly how she feels. And then he said, I can then reflect on that and think I need to be more sensitive Aww. in that situation or whatever. Yeah. Mm. And I was like, oh, my God. <clears throat> Oh, that's cool. Yeah, oh, no, it's so cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. she really might not be as crazy as us though. So <laughs> nah, you better not go not. too no, far. She definitely is. <laughs> she's part of the crew. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, is that the feedback? Yeah, we're really good. good. Yeah. yeah, and so we're going to talk about today. What did you call it? Connectivity. Yeah, I think it would be really cool. Um, you guys talked a little while to go, ago to me about um, something that you guys set up a little while Jealous. ago. Um, <laughs> the, I think you called it the platform. Platform. And so I thought we could make today's episode, um, because we have been feeling really connected um, mm. to people we know and people who love, you know, to people who love us. People we don't know. And people we don't yeah. know from different <laughs> countries. And I thought we could just talk about a bit about connection and building those connections and um, finding your people. And yeah, I want you guys to talk a little bit about what you guys did with the platform. Mm. Yeah. 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 It was um, Kate's idea. What's surprise, that? surprise. All these great ideas. <laughs> she turns everything into gold. It's amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So we kind of were like, oh, gosh. <laughs> with it. this, I'll make more gold. <laughs> no more cat tail. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> and also, like when you blow up a balloon, you tie the knot. Do you know? My husband's always like, <laughs> I'm like children around, like not even our children, multiple other children. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> My drink out again. <laughs> anyway, back to, back to. Um, so we did. Uh, we called it platform, and it was over a winter, and we still had. I don't think any of our children were at school yet. Maybe Mason Poppy had just started school. Yeah. There was lots of weird pre. Um, preschool children um, and found that we just wanted to get some mums together and hang out. We were just bored basically. We were bored, yeah. But this was incredible. We started a Facebook page. We contacted the local restaurant and said, look, well, if we can, we all paid like $5 a head to come in. Um, they did these beautiful like baked brie. Mm. Oh. <laughs> really good oh, platters. Mm. Um, so they had a platter. I love the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and then we would organise guest speakers. And so they would come. Um, it was Martin that owned it then. He did these beautiful platters. People paid $5 a head. We would drink wine and listen to a guest speaker. And why we want to talk about this is to encourage other people. This was way out of our comfort zone. Like I'd say to Kate, you can do the intro today. She was like, you do it. And I was like, I don't want to do it. And I would <laughs> stand up and be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. And she did not like, sound like that. would be like 25 women just like <laughs> staring at me. And I'd be like, oh, I just like weed a little bit. <laughs> Crying. Yeah, like totally. I stand up and I started crying. Yeah, you oh. did actually. Because <laughs> I was also a guest speaker yeah. because we got, um, I just got dermapen, skin needling yeah. into the clinic. So I got my rep to come. We set up a bed. We had like a projector screen and we talked about skin. And then we had a client on the bed and we did a treatment around all these women. It yeah. was so cool. It was cool. So I just had a little spiel and I was like paper shaking. And then like I just talked about, Oh, I think I started talking about mum and dad and how I like yeah. want to make them proud. And I just Aww. started crying and I couldn't I stop. That. And I was like, <laughs> but I cry when I'm nervous. But you also would have um, felt 
so happy about what you were talking about. And I do that too when I get really happy. Or you were sharing something about your husband the other day and I was like, oh, I started crying. I was like, oh, take the camera off me. But, um, and like that vulnerability and like the way that you got up there and you did that in front of all those women, like it builds connection. Like yeah, that on it's real. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was real. That's cool. <laughs> you were like, actually, I was just nervous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I did feel that though. And so we, that was a real cup fuller. And then Kate and I would, Sam. 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 <laughs> Sam. <laughs> we would like, you guys, we've got an opening for a new producer. I don't know if um, anyone wants to apply. <laughs> anyone can. <laughs> please <laughs> please someone, send your CV through joking, to we're joking, Breaking Beige NZ. Yeah. 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 Don't want to do it for me. <laughs> Um, so we would like, and then like, we would feel so good. You know how we finished filming this and we're like, oh, we're so pumped. Yeah. So we would finish and we would clean up the room that we used and then just keep drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> and we would end up and then like, we had this one friend of ours, awesome chick, um, had triplets. She's, yeah. we all know who we're talking about. She's yeah. a rad chick, but that literally changed her life forever. Yeah. And she would come and she was like, help us clean up and then we would all just like drink wine together. We'd just and get on it and we'd be like dancing, we'd turn the music up and it would be like a Wednesday night and we'd all be like, <laughs> But it didn't matter because we didn't have work and we had to get up to kids but we could just mooch around the next day 100%. and, yeah, you know. It's so cool. Lick so, up all the brie that was left on the ground. <laughs> yeah, we, were, <laughs> we were feral. But the main thing about it was like we want to pump other businesses and like make other people feel good and, you know, so we would – yeah, it was like, I think for the mums, it was about coming and getting on the piss and, you know, like having a it's an out. night out, yeah. right? But we also wanted to have like some sort of content. So we would get like local businesses to come in and just share what their business was about, you mm. know, and just, just pump. Any excuse to get pissed. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Any yeah. excuse to get pissed. The ha- when we had um, the lady from Health Space come in, that was Sue really good. Oldfield, so yeah. yeah. She was amazing. Talked about menopause and. Everyone was there just like jaw Don't look dropping. at me, that's ages <laughs> away. <laughs> but she was talking about hormones, sorry, yeah, menopause, yeah, hormones. Yeah. And yeah. everyone was just silent, like jaw drop, like this is so interesting. Such good content. <clears throat> we'll just start it back up with all the time we have. <laughs> hey, Kate. Yes. <laughs> Did you just get a dick pic from your husband? <laughs> no, my sister's trying to ring me. Not now. <laughs> I'm feeling bad. Um... Uh, yeah, so that was like that was wicked, and we would we just wanted to talk about that. We ended up after like when it started getting warmer, it came into summer, and we were like, you know, everyone gets busy at night. You know, nights are you know because it's not Longer daylight saving anymore. And the children and so, yeah, don't so we go were to like, sleep. oh, we'll flag it now, and then we should have started it back up again. But it's definitely a winter thing. When you when I talk to clients and friends and mums, they're like, oh, like if you don't have like a. Fiji holiday planned yeah. winter can really drag well, so hibernation time eh? yeah. yeah so it was once a month it was a Wednesday and it was something that we all looked forward to yeah and we even took we did outings do you remember that's that? right we went to the yeah, virtue we went to the virtue and we did like an evening there I think I got really, really pissed that night. Yeah, I was trying on bras and showing people. (laughs) (laughs) Surprise, surprise. (laughs) We did. Just like lonely bras. Renee's got one on and I was like, (laughs) woo. And I was like, "Mm." (laughs) put it down. (laughs) But so it's, yeah, for us it was a really valid way of like keeping those connections and having a bit of fun and and pumping other businesses, which is all like really good, feel good stuff. Yeah. Um, But yeah, the reason we wanted to talk about it was we were like, there's so many of you that are messaging us and saying like, oh, I'm like stuck in the rut, you know, like I'm lonely and I'm, what do I do, you know? So this is something that like, A, it doesn't cost you anything but a bit of time. B, it's like a way of having an excuse to catch up with your mum mates. Yeah. And, and like supporting a like a local ways. business. Like, you and know, if you've got business. around your area, like a pub or a small restaurant or whatever, though we pay for those platters, we bought a lot of booze, yeah. you know, like so, and that involved them as well. And then people knew that they were there and, you know, would go there. and Yeah, it worked good. And so it. anyway, everybody start up a wee platform in your, your hometown. Oh, that's, a good, that's a good night. It ties, like you said, it's all of those things, but it's also like self-care for some people. That might be the only thing that they do for that week that really, you know, makes them feel good. Yeah. So that's really cool because it kind of covers off a lot of bases as well, like Absolutely. hobbies, drinking, <laughs> eating, cheese. <laughs> um, but it's also, yeah, it's like, yeah, for, for all you know, like 
you know, some of those mums who turned up could have been like in the absolute trenches. And you know yeah. when you know when it just feels like groundhog day sometimes yeah. you're like oh I'm putting the same blinds down and I'm getting the same pajamas out and I'm getting yeah. and you're doing that that whole routine which is great but it can just feel like groundhog day so mm. imagine like having something like that in your week yeah that you're just pumped about and you mm. yeah and at what like sometimes we felt a day like we were like oh, it's so cold and we don't we can't be really going but we would go and it was yeah it was awesome the one thing that I noticed about that period of our life was like we battled for clothes. Yeah. We were like, we have to like look nice and go to this evening out. And we were like, we don't have any going out clothes. We would swap clothes. Yeah. To like change it up. Because we just like, we weren't going out. No. We had active wear. Yeah, we had active wear. <laughs> and one pair of 501s. <laughs> that fit. Yeah. Who's wearing jeans tonight? Who's wearing undies? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, and that was quite cool because it made us be like, hey, we should. You know, like we should get some nicer tops that, you know, we can pair with jeans and make us feel a bit better. So made us go and do that. Yeah, that was cool. Mm. It was yeah. a good time. Yeah. That's awesome. Agreed. So, oh, yeah, yeah, we think everybody should go and start up a little mom group, even if it's like a book club or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Just get yourself out. <laughs> I started a, We started a book club with some friends and whenever it's like – if we haven't caught up for a while, someone's like, what book are we reading this week? Which basically means I really need a wine yeah. and a, like a chat because it's we've never actually read a book. Yeah. But we just call it the book club. But yeah, it's finding something and it could you could call it your book club. Doesn't really matter if you read the books, just like put it in the diary. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Get it. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, mm. yeah mm. for sure. So we touched on hobbies in our last podcast mm. but I did have it was terrifying <laughs> and actually for all of you it was terrifying like all the listeners it was terrifying we had so many people message that were like fuck yeah yeah it is Thank you. A hobby. <laughs> but a good way to like word it was what one of our listeners came back to us and said she was asked what would you do for a day if you didn't have to do your kids or you didn't have to do your job. What would Or do your husband. <laughs> <laughs> it was at this point of the podcast, there were words that were said that cannot be repeated. This episode was brought to you by Aviation Productions. that was in a different podcast and I just realised it's actually private. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Nobody ask. Okay. It wasn't the pantry, it was the wardrobe, but let's move on. Oh, so I mean, it's way more hygienic. <laughs> <laughs> so I ask you to think about that because I thought about that and I did say this last time, I would do full self-care. I know my job, whatever. Massage, petty, Nice food, not the yuck pumpkin suit we had yesterday. No. <laughs> um, and catching up with friends yeah. and probably quite a lot of gins. But nothing that's not our hobbies that we had in our 20s. Our hobbies were sports and things like that. <laughs> Kate's like, no, they were not. <laughs> no. no. Well, different, you know. <laughs> but our hobbies, if you can call them hobbies, are different now. Yeah. So what would you do? if you had a whole day to yourself and didn't have to cook dinner or do anything? The silence. <laughs> okay. I honestly don't know. Say tomorrow you've got the whole day off. No husband, no Don't kids, have to no do work. school pickup. No cleaning. Kardashians. Nothing. Yeah, Kardashians. Now, I, don't, I honestly, like, I thought about this when that came through too and I was just like, it's pretty rare that I have that opportunity to have, like, a whole day to myself, but... Not that long ago, my kids all my kids went away on the school holidays for like a few days with their grandparents. Bash went to work, and I was so bored and miserable and lonely. So sad. But I think it also yeah. like if you've got no money, you can't like go and get your nails done and a massage and like all those lush things. But if that's like out of it and I'm loaded that day. Come up for <laughs> shopping. Show me the. Give me my me laptop money and my credit card. <laughs> yeah. Online shopping. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I honestly would just do like I would find, and that's probably where the whole like home renovation stuff would come into it. I'd be like, right, today's my day. I'm going to paint a wall. 
I'll be productive. No. <laughs> it's that productive, like nature. That yeah, and I'll be good. like, um, I'll do I a job something. that like I can't do when the kids are here. So yeah. you'd, you'd essentially build something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, make something better. Cool. But I wouldn't be like relaxing. Probably. You're an active. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? You're an active like, relaxer. Yeah. 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 Makes Don't, sense. Yeah. I like it. Gigi? Oh, this reminds me of when I just had a say. thought. No. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure. What an assignment. Um, this reminds me of when our son was maybe, I don't know, he might have been six or seven months, and I had said to Sam, I just have to get out of this house. Like, I'm so sick of being in this house. Like, you know, it's kind of that zone where, like, and I was like breastfeeding, and so you're always tight. Like, you always have to get yeah. back really quickly. And, um, must have been a Saturday and I said to Sam, I just, can I just go and have like two or three hours to myself? And he kept asking me what I was going to do. And I was like, oh, like, I don't know. I'm just going to get in the car and I'm just going to get out of here and I don't know what I'm going to do. And he got real like, but what are you actually going to do? Like, what are you, you know? And I was like, I don't know. And anyway, so I went into town and I brought a coffee. I went and got my ears pierced again because I just felt like I needed to do something. Like, I needed to like, I need a rebel. I don't know. I was just like, like, I went and got, like, my, maybe it was the third one's done again because they'd closed up. Like, I just wanted to go and do something for myself that was kind not of even rebellious, <laughs> but I was Ow. just like, I know what I'm going to do. And um, I think I went and, like, picked up, I don't know, some – some lunch and yeah like yeah I struggled I was like mm. what the hell am I gonna do because you don't often have that time and no. you don't often have that but I came back and I felt really fucking cool like I was like oh I got my ears pierced like I'm so <laughs> naughty but it was just going out and doing something that was out of the norm yeah. that was um yeah just different and I came back and Sam's like what did you do and I was like like as in like did you like it's almost like he was like like, where have you been and who have you been yeah. with? And I was like, I do not have the capacity to service anyone more than you. Yeah. Like, I, I, so I have true. not been cheating on you. Minutes, I mate. didn't go to a cheap motel. Like, I just went. And I was like, I got my ears pierced. To be fair, I just wanted to know what you were doing. <laughs> You're what? so I controlling. Wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> He's just curious. Um, but I, yeah, I just... Yeah, and I was like, I got my ears pierced, and he's like, Rebel. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I can be saucy. Like at that time, I also didn't have any spare time, so yeah. I was more like, What are you doing for three hours? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, this isn't the sad Sam show. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. No, we're better at we're better at making time now. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. But going back to your question, I would probably want to do something productive too. Like mm. I'm funny. I like I like to. It sounds really sad, but I like organizing stuff and having that, getting on top of things so that the rest of my week runs really well. This is like standard mum. Oh, I know. It's like if you have free time, you need to make yeah something happen in that time. Yeah, because you've got kids. Yeah, and then you like want to catch up with friends, but they're with their kids. Yeah, or, yeah. like you, you don't want to hang out with yeah, other people's girls. No, exactly. <laughs> and then it's like people will be like, "Come and see, you know, come here and like do this." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, I'm not, cu- I'm not giving up my kids nah. today to look after anybody else's." <laughs> like it's yeah, but yeah, I think I would just yeah, I'd have a nice hot shower. I would, um, I'd probably like waste an hour on Instagram or something. Um, I'd probably scrolling. go catch up with my mum. Like I'd go catch up with my mum or my sister or something or some friends, and yeah, that fills me but, up. And yeah. also, like we we've always got company, right? Because we've always got our mm. kids with us. So suddenly, if you're all alone for a whole day, mm. it's actually yeah. shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> I don't. God, care. I hate myself. <laughs> 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 like, this is not for you. No, it's yeah. not shit for I, you. I mean, like, I do get like I'd get lonely after I don't know seventy two hours, but I quite enjoy my own time yeah 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 what would you do I would go and get like massages and oh stuff. that's right you see that sorry but like yeah yeah and like if okay money again was an issue you know like a girls weekend oh yeah we yes. need to plan a girls weekend because that thought the other day about cup, this. you know mm. like so then you know like so we film and we do this now and then I'm like right I've got to get to a game I've got it, and we're mm. rushing off yeah about doing this and then just hanging out Mm. And like being with each other and having yeah. that. Am I one of the girls? Hundred percent, Sam. Yes. You're one of the girls. Yes. Oh God! Holly. Can can our if our village is listening? Can you please look after our kids for a <laughs> weekend <laughs> so we can go for a girls' weekend Babysitters. with Sam? <laughs> right, this needs to be planned. 
Yeah, we do need a plan. If anyone's got any good ideas or places, cool places to stay or cool things to do, if you're listening, we are all ears. Mm. Yeah. And we we don't want to plan it. You plan it. (laughs) We did touch on this, eh, with like family holidays and stuff. We got some really cool responses about that. Um, And also the party, party. Oh, the party themes. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you haven't seen, like, check out our Instagram. It's um, so funny. There's, yeah, we put up some posts and we were like, tell us, like, your favourite 40th themes. And, man, there was some goodies that came through. Yeah. Good book re- like, book recommendations on there too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Netflix. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was cool. The Netflix. The Netflix. <laughs> the, the Netflix and on and the Instagram. How old are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the web. On, on, on the, the World Wide Web. <laughs> Older than you, Sam. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweet. And then I guess the only other thing, look at me, I've got my notes, I've got my list like an aggressive mother. Um, the other thing that we were going to talk about was um, just some final feedback and we um, put a sticker box up if anyone's got any questions. So yeah. mm-hmm. I might fire those out. Um, so favourite fashion brands, either designer or non-designer? Renee. Are we answering this now? Should mm-hmm. we do a fashion episode instead? Or do you want to answer it now? This is a quick answer. Like, I am a diva and I fucking love Anina Bing. Same. Mm-hmm. I so, and it's so weird because I feel bad about saying that because she's really expensive. Well, she's not expensive. She's actually just like quality. Quality mm-hmm. is 100% my favourite designer at the moment. Nice. Love her. And you wore that cool. Cool top from her yesterday. Yeah, she is yeah, what like I save up because <clears throat> you could buy like three or four items for one of her items mm. that you kind of hardly wear, don't feel good in, and then you end up kind of just giving away or chucking away. Mm. Or you buy that one item and you thrash it and you feel so good. Quality when you over it. quantity. Yeah, I'm all for and it. resale. Yeah. yeah, like when you're over it. You still get good money. Never going to get over it, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Kate? Yeah, probably the same. Like I get my, um, I get my like fancy pieces from places like Superette and yeah, places like that. But I do love Mal. That's mm-hmm. a New Zealand brand. Um, That's where your jumper is from. Yeah, yeah and mm-hmm. and to be fair, I don't. I brought. I've got three Mal jumpers, but I brought them like. Second hand. Used, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, love that. But then I like, I love, my middle range would be kind of like that assembly label. Um, we've Good talked, basics, yeah. Yeah, like we talked about Crystal Cylinder. They've got um, like thrills and, you know, that kind of like middle range of mm. stuff. Not um, Quicksilver, but not, like more yeah, elevated. Not, not Quicksilver. <laughs> By the <laughs> way, guys, do we want to talk about the top that we were talking about? Was it NY or was it Quicksilver? It was NY, not NZ. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. It actually does say NY. 100% says NY, and but it is Quicksilver and it still should be gone. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with Quicksilver, but, no, but yeah, not for not. me today. No, I love that. <laughs> it's not. What about you, Gina? Um, clothes. I, I mean, I love Lululemon, guys, but I don't <laughs> want to get into the too. active wear. Um, I really like their tighter stuff compression tights, which are kind of just like yeah, mm-hmm. pull everything it's in. Salad. Um, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Sam. He's like, yeah, and she takes them on. They just. No, <laughs> stop. Not um, I I really like I like lots of New Zealand brands. I really like like I I do a little bit of shopping through Australia as well. Um, so I really I like Arca Movement. They have some really cool basics. Um, and Levi's obviously hundred um, percent staple. Love really love Oak Meadow. That's like a, quite a more of a feminine pretty. Um, so when I feel like I want to put a pretty so dress on, I really like that stuff. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and like there's some really cool New Zealand designers which are just like slightly out of my price range, like Caitlin Crisp, I think it is. Mm. They've got some really beautiful pieces. Mm-hmm. But yeah, anything from Superette or Sister, is it Sisters and Co. Mm. and The Mount, they have some really cool stuff too. Mm. Or Muse in Auckland, like anything that they have is always beautiful. Um, but I yeah, those Zara are too. Like, Zara's yeah, Zara like, I'm a good. big fan of Zara. But then me and my sister went to H&M in Hamilton the other day. 
And oh my God, like the one time that I like went into the shop and I actually had money and I was like, I'm going to get like foodie things. I'm so excited. Like I'd been on TikTok and I'd been watching these people do like these H&M hauls. They go in and they grab all the shit and they get into the change room. Well, the second that I had my pants off in the changing room, my son's like, I need a wee. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, are you serious right Just now? Like you're honestly in the like, corner. Right now you need to wee? And it's not like, it wasn't like a hold on wee. It was a jiggling, like I'm honestly going to piss on the floor wee. And I was like, oh my God. And I, so I just had to like rip all my clothes back on, leave all these clothes in the change room, like run them out. Uh. And then it was like he just didn't pee <laughs> enough. <laughs> and so five minutes later it happened again and I was just like, oh, I'm giving up. <laughs> and I ended up like walking out with one shirt and a jersey. Hate the jersey. Actually have thrashed the shirt, so. Sell the jersey. Yeah, sell the jersey. Mm. Um, yeah, but H&M's cool for like, you know. Good. Yeah, six. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. On trend fashion, but it's affordable. And also your staples like glasses and things like that. You can mm. always find like one or two little bits in there. 100%. Yeah. So we've got another couple of questions, but I almost feel like we might be coming to the end of our episode. Um one of them was, loved both episodes. Can you show me some ideas for a capsule wardrobe? I'm lost. Another person on the back of that, someone else said, how do I book in a styling session with Kate? Um, and so <laughs> I have think, to be her friend. <laughs> I almost feel like that could be a separate episode on 100%. its own um, just yeah. to get pick Kate's brain. Um, and then also there was a question, Renee, what are your best skin tips? Which – I feel Sunscreen. like there's this. I feel like you're a vault of <clears throat> valuable information. So I think we could almost do something separate with that, where yeah. people can send in their questions or like, what's you know? Because I think it's overwhelming how many products are out there. So yeah. even just like top, top two, and yeah. then if you can add a third, what would it be? And we could do that. Okay, cool. Um, yep. Uh, are the two nanas friends? Like, I can't believe that Kate and Renee hadn't met before that. That was another piece. Of oh, it. we yeah. definitely have crossed paths, um, but when we were really little, yeah. so I knew she existed. But it is weird, eh? Like yeah. our family, yeah, to not. But it's a really big family. Too. It is, yeah, yeah, and like. I'm really antisocial. <laughs> so no, no, she's not. So when you're, no, when but I would be in that. Like if there was like <clears throat> someone was like, oh, there's a family dinner for everybody oh, you didn't go. down the coast. Like I'd be like, yeah, I'm really, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Opt really busy. out. <laughs> I was always there. So, but yeah, I mean, we, we'd cross paths and seen each other, but just not really grabbed each other out. Yeah. That is a really funny question because I probably would think the same. (laughs) Yeah, it is hard to think that we didn't. But I I also didn't live here, so. Yes. And it wasn't really until Renee wore those PE Nation shoes that that you were like, there she is. That's her. (laughs) (laughs) Thank God for those shoes. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So with that, I think – the other thing we were going to say is if you're listening and you have something that's really consuming your mind at the moment or you need help with something, we had someone write in and talk about how they've got a anything but clothes costume that they have to wear to a oh, party. No. Um, and so it's we asked people, we asked the like the follow, like our followers who like, you know, what would you do? And we got some insanely creative <laughs> yeah, it was good. feedback. And so we hope that that helped um, that that particular yes. person um yeah. so if there's anything that you've got and it's kind of fun or it's kind of serious like there's lots and lots of people who are willing to share um their thoughts or their experiences so I was just going to say if there's anyone listening that wants um yeah lots of lots and lots of opinions yeah sometimes yeah, you don't need cool. any opinions <laughs> yeah. but they can be taken or left and yeah so if there's anything that you're thinking about that you're like oh this is a real dilemma for me like mm. please let That's us what know. we're here for guys it and is. the final um another one of the stickers was what's your favorite music and I was oh, like this we would be a good place this. to end the we music we're gonna um I was thinking that we should start a Breaking Badge playlist Ooh. on Spotify I don't want to talk because changes all the time like I've got this favorite song at the moment that every time it comes on I'm like turning it up yeah I just always go back to like gangster rap I really love it and like <laughs> 90s gangster rap like I love Tupac and I love Biggie, Biggie yeah. and I love the Wu-Tang like, Clan like it's like yeah. yes 
It makes me feel yeah. so good. Did you love like Neo and Nelly and uh, like all of them? Oh, I play them and then Sam's like, yeah, you're definitely from Open Air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you should have come to the Juicy Fest with me. It was oh, wild. That would have been insane. Like seeing I was fangirling, like Nelly came out and I was like, let out this, <laughs> who's here? He's it like was, 80 years old now. <laughs> it so was, oh, yeah. So I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. Breaking Beige playlist. Yeah. But then I was going to say that the other music that we really like is the end of the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't want to talk. <laughs> hey, can <laughs> we just real quick, just to finish on a funny note, can you tell the story about the stick in the butt? Oh, yeah. should we do that quickly? Yeah, I wanted you, you to do that episode one. I know, but we forgot. <laughs> the oh, stick in the butt in story. Case, I hope that Mace never listens to this because he'll be mortified, but he was a baby. It's funny. He will laugh. <sighs> he might not. So before I bought R and Co Skin and Beauty, I um, used to <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to no, say this really I seriously. Can't, I, can't listen. I used to do clients from home. Um, in between like being a mum and, and busy life. And at this stage, I only had one child, um, had these really rad doctors that used to live a house across from us. And they would text and be like, hey, are you home? I've got a wax. I need a wax. And so it was lunchtime and Mace was supposed to be sleeping and a lady came over for a Brazilian wax. Anyway, so we were nearly finished the Brazilian wax and I Is could hear Mace could get out of... Too much information in this about the person. Nah, no, 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 no. Okay, nah, so that's sweet. Um, and then, <laughs> <laughs> there's no name. Just want to health and safety preface this. Okay, um, I think that's all right. And then um, I could hear like um, like little feet pitter pattering up and down the hallway because he could get out of his own bed. And I was just like, oh God, I'm really sorry. Um, I don't think he'd gone to sleep at all. And then I was like just trying to get through it. And then I hear the door open and she's like, look, honestly, it's all good. And I'm like, God, I'm so sorry. But then the stench, he had shat his nappy. That's why he didn't go to sleep. And it smelt so bad. And then I was just getting towards the end of the wax. So at the end of a wax, when you're doing a Brazilian, the person rolls to the side and you wax their butt. And so I... (laughs) (laughs) And it's like, we're on the home straight. That part doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. And so then... He was just like walking around the bottom of the bed, puckering like, okay, let me oh finish God, the story. Sorry. He was walking around the bed and I had turned around to put wax on the stick to finish the wax, um, the waxing and he had his own stick and shoved the stick in her butt. <laughs> <laughs> and then I heard her go, Ooh. oh. <laughs> And I was like, Mace, no! And then you dropped the stick and I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, we finished and like obviously the mum guilt and the mort- like I was mortified for the whole day and feel like shit about it for the pretty much rest of the week because also that was a recommendation through somebody else and it was the oh. first time she'd ever come to me. <laughs> That's why she recommended you. <laughs> she came back and she's really nice, but it was... Definitely one of those moments where you're like, oh, fuck God. my life. <laughs> <laughs> and we oh, so are done. Good. A wax so with good. a happy ending. <laughs> happy ending <laughs> wax. <laughs> <laughs> and an episode <laughs> with a happy <laughs> ending. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, <laughs> how was that? <laughs> Funny story? Pedal was it boring? Metal, He's blushing. He can't <laughs> say anything. <laughs> that was probably better. I don't want to speak. Hey, we're getting good feedback from Sam. Running up the score like Tyreek, I'm deep. Watch me how I'm tossing up. Yeah, he's like, I like to see more. I don't want to talk.